And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thanks for joining me today for a quick chat. And of course, our morning cup of coffee. And thanks to our Ahepa family locally here who gave me this mug to use for my videos. And today I wanted to talk about a new show that's on Amazon Prime. Very popular show. It was number one in America for a while. And it's called Shiny Happy People. And it's a documentary on... This, the Duggar family, remember that Duggar family from 19 Kids and Counting that was a huge show on TLC many years ago. And then they got involved in some scandal with abuse and different things. Well, they made a documentary, four or five episodes, um, you know, following this family and their involvement in this sort of Christian fundamentalist, well, let's basically say it, a cult. And um, what did I think about the documentary? What do I think about it for us as Orthodox Christians? Well, number one, it was very biased. Let's come right out of the gate and say it doesn't take five episodes to condemn a cult. Obviously, these people were, you know, members of a cult, and everything that was being done was very cult-like. And let's come out and condemn everything associated with with what they were doing, uh, all of the oppression, all of the control, the manipulation, um, you know, the abuse. Obviously, we're going to condemn that right off the bat and say that it's unhealthy and distorted and wrong. I, I mean, you don't need five episodes to do that or four, or whatever it was. You, you got that in the first five minutes. And, uh, but what was disturbing was the idea that from the show's perspective, there was an agenda. The agenda wasn't just to expose the cult. The agenda was to bash anything related to traditional fundamentalist Christian values. Any fundamentalism, and I'm not a Christian fundamentalist, um, but any of that was sort of condemned in this sort of sweeping condemnation. It's like you're looking at a whole orchard of a thousand trees and saying, see that one tree, it's dead, so the whole orchard's bad. Well, no, that's just one cult. You don't get to condemn all of Christianity or fundamentalists because of one group of nut jobs who gets distorted and warped in their interpretation of the gospel or the teachings of, of the Bible. It was really offensive and just poorly done. You know, realistically, it's Amazon. I mean, you guys, the budget should have been sky's the limit, right? Get some real people to commentate, right? You, you had this random pastor. You don't know who this guy is. You have some random person off the Internet as an influencer that has a website on something, some other professor from a university you've never heard of. Come on, get some real people on there so that we can have, you know, real substance to what's being said. The, common, the comments should have really been of some substance. Some professor in a respected field from a university you've heard of talking about it and, and, and analyzing it. Now, it was all kind of slapped together as a real just sort of sweeping condemnation of any traditional Christian values. And that's what was so disturbing about it. Yes, these people took normal values and warped them. And uh, so we don't uh, support that. But we see it as being a warping of something traditional. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, in other words. You don't have to have 19 kids, but it's okay if you want to have more than no kids. It's okay if you want to have more than one kid. By today's standards, three kids, well, that's a huge family. It's okay to tell people, a young family, hey, if you want to have children, children are a blessing. And accept what God gives you in terms of your children. Now, that doesn't mean you have to have 19 kids. You can have one or two. It's okay. But see, it was a sweeping condemnation of everything. It's okay to tell your children, hey, try to be modest. Try to be chaste or try to be pure. It's okay to wait and not sleep around too much before you get married. That's an okay message. It doesn't have to be part of an oppressive patriarchy that's trying to control women. It's all sort of, you know, lumped together. And so for us as Orthodox Christians, I think the message I took away from it, besides this idea, of course, we condemn cults, but we also condemn agendas that come from the other side. You know, it's like, well, don't, don't homeschool your kids with these people because there's this horrible agenda. Send them to public school so they can be indoctrinated by our agenda. I mean, come on, you can't win, right? So how do you win? Well, as Orthodox, you know what you believe. You know that it's not distorted or warped. You know that you're not teaching anything that's crazy or cult-like, um, but you believe in the teachings of the church. You believe in the commandments of God. We believe in the Bible. And so we try to teach our kids good values. And they can go to public school, and it's still up to us to be able to educate them and say, well, look, I know that you, you might have heard that. We might not agree with that. We have to talk about it. 
they're going to be out in society and they're going to come up against all sorts of things that they don't agree with that we have to talk about, they have to be educated about. But making some sweeping condemnation about things is, again, overcorrecting, and it's also a form of its own indoctrination. No, 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 you know, girls should, shouldn't be told who they're going to marry. They shouldn't be told that they can't sleep around before they're going to marry. They, can't, they should, shouldn't be told how to dress. All of these sorts of things is leaning towards a different direction that they should be free to do whatever they want, we should accept them however they want, they should be able to sleep around with whomever they want, dress however they want. Well, not all of those things are good either. Can we find some sort of a happy medium where we teach our kids and where we practice good traditional Christian values? Not cult-like values, just good normal Christian values of purity and modesty with common sense. And I think that that's maybe the lesson for us in all of this as Orthodox to sort of find that nice balance and say, well, this is who we are, and we're not associated with that group, even though you want to lump us up you know, all together with it. But we're living our faith, and we're doing the best that we can to follow God's law, but to do it in a rational and reasonable way, and to do that each and every day. Amen.